I'm truly sorry this is going to be mostly dull for most of you, but one thing that Safari... <coughs> God, this is such a, such a weird thing to say. So, they introduced browser extensions to Safari in iOS 15. I, uh, notably on the screens that have, was also introduced to the truth that I forgot, which is when you try to sync Safari bookmarks with anything, it just ruins them. So, that's nice. Glad to see that. Anyway, um, you'll notice in the Safari settings menu, this tab for extensions. Now, there's not going to be any. When you first arrive, look at how many there are. Look at how many of these I already have. Um, and there's something that defines them. Uh, honestly, I'm, gonna, I'm actually just going to go ahead and turn these off because I've seen no difference. I just like the name. Um, these basically are the extent of the Safari extensions that have come out as of day one, which I know that, you know, that don't have something to do with blocking something. Um, and it, 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 you'll see what I mean. Uh, now, famously, maybe I should include this context. Fuck it. If you actually want to watch this. Um, let's see, actually, let's go through the must-haves. There's overpriced dark mode. Um, the, most of these just have nice icons. And then there's this super agent, which I'm trying out, which just does the consent thing for you. And then um, there's turn off the lights. Uh, also, there's uh, the Apollo guys amp blocker as opposed to the original better one um called over ramps which i can't show you and now i don't know how to get back there nope no idea okay. um but what i want to do is go down the list uh free top free and top paid because i think you might notice a trend um and while you do that so i i never really used oh my god i do like firefly <laughs> i'm gonna have to download that fucking icon actually Yes. This is me. This is all I care about is, is branding. Um, especially, Firefox is the worst. Anyway. Maybe I should just say... Um, I, I understand somewhat. Okay, I am someone who... Like, I browse the web a lot. Granted, it's probably not... Like... I don't know. I don't play any games on the web. I can't imagine anyone who does. Uh, most of the services and the publications that I go to regularly and, like, ridiculously often, I mean, the whole web is, is based on the same technologies. Um, and a lot of those technologies are fucking broken. Uh, but I wouldn't say that privacy is my number one concern. And, in fact, any time I've ever indulged... Uh, any of the... I, okay, Brave is great, but Firefox specifically is the worst browsing experience I've ever had. It is, like, singularly the one that is susceptible to pop-ups and shit. Anyway, I'm just... I can't multitask. I wish you to notice how much... How many of these are just... Like, what? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Your, your web experience... Ooh, there's phone cleaner... Why would that be a Safari extension? <laughs> um, hmm. I think I might have heard about that one. Uh, but like, if you just took a look at this, um, I need I need to actually put that on my list. Oh god, the second I kill it, is it? Fuck. I'll just wait. Um. Now I'm going against my point here. Uh, so many of them are blocking applications. So many of them are porn blockers. 
Now, I don't know about you, but I cannot, I literally cannot think of the last time on the modern web, I do a lot of stuff, that I accidentally came across pornography. Cannot think of, like, it just doesn't happen anymore. I can't, well, I really can't remember a time when it did. Which, um, ooh, that's cute. Whoops. It's a very cute icon. Once again, I'll probably just steal that. Oh, for a second, I saw Oigan and I was like, mm. Oh, never mind. <laughs> um, I don't know. And the thing is, I suspect that a lot of these don't work very well. The blockers. Because, again, my overwhelming experience is anytime I try to install blocking software, that's when um, bad stuff happens. Let's see, did I... I think I enabled that. Uh, I just... You are... Like, what... For one thing, Safari... One of the things that I've never had to complain about as far as purified porn filter. See, that's, I guess, I don't know. I just, even as a child, the first time that I came across pornography was because another child explicitly was like, I'm, uh, against my will, going to make you watch porn. Um, this one's way more complicated than it sounds. Uh, and I still don't quite think that it's better, but I'm glad that you... Um, I really need to actually just try this one. What? I just reset my phone. This is something you want to watch on YouTube. I bet it's all creaky and loud. Can I set mic modes? Nope. Just fuck. Okay, there's another one. Porn shield. Black porn, uh, block porn in Safari. Uh, this is fascinating, and I cannot get it to work because gestures are the opposite of the, what I'm getting at all the way. But yeah, it just... And I understand that at this early on, it doesn't necessarily mean that there's like a, a great outcry for browser extensions, but like, I don't know. That's interesting. Wait a second. Third party. I'm assuming that means CSS that's being loaded from outside the domain. I don't know. Like my website does that. It's the only reason that the that the typography is acceptable. Um what a mess. What am, except this. Oh my god, this is the mo this is the one that matters. Okay? I will include a link. I mean just now that is a good idea for a browser extension, okay? That's a great way, a great thoughtful clever thing to think. Wait a second. I bet it'd be really easy for me to just make sure that this one I mean it's not this person is not going to see their dead name. Like um oh, scrolls in here. <laughs> Why would I need another reading later list? It's specifically in Safari. Anyway. Uh, sea punks. Minimalistic design. Yeah, Safari. Just porn block. Like, if you're getting a lot of ad banners with pornography, you were watching pornography somewhere. Or searching for it. Complete certain security suite for iOS. I really wish I'd just go down and interview every one of these people and be like, one, like, that I need. Except command browser is better. Distracting websites? Boot, your productivity, we're talking about the phone. Okay, we're gonna go through the paid apps and I'm sorry. Um, again, I like Apollo Chris guy, but I said this on Twitter. I'm just going to actually show you because uh, I've been testing. Oh, I forgot I'm connected to the keyboard. I'm such a great content creator. 
Oh no. Well, I guess I'll have to buy it. I thought I already did, but that's okay. The, the only bad part about this is that it's probably gonna reset the stats. But uh, I have a screenshot somewhere. Um, this was like, I rejoice openly about this, so. Uh, stats, stats. That is a lot, okay? 149 links. Um, there you are, you little fuckers. There's, uh, God, I really have been, <laughs> I really have been going to Apple Adjacent Media, haven't I? Um, and they really have a amp problem. Uh, yeah, this is so cool because you can just report a website that it's not working on. I did, uh, and I think that was incorrect, but like, again, love Apollo, dude, but this is the most gift. I mean, even if they're like identical in feature sets, this one has like, I don't know, a goat in it. Like, I, I, I understand. <sighs> Pet your dog. That's cool. Anyway, th what Overamp does is, is I don't have to think about it, but I should probably, t like literally, I just haven't thought of an amp. I also got this one, which is made by the same man. And it is, uh, you might want to see that. Have I opened the settings? Yes, I have. Um, should we go to the pornography website? Oops. Sorry. <laughs> Bear with me while I... This might... Sorry, this is just not useful at all, just amusing. Um, <laughs> but, uh, eat, eat. oh, I didn't, I didn't realize that that was the actual inspector's font size. Um, this isn't particularly useful right now, I guess. We'll do one. in landscape mode, maybe. I don't know. I There are times when I definitely could have used this. Um, let's see. This, and this is a more traditional web inspector. Mm, if I wanted to find... Let's just... Whoops. I'm so great at using the computer. That's interesting that it goes away. Now I'm just wasting your time. Um, what I wanted to do is find, yeah, find some specific style. Or, there we go. And can I just, I guess I can't edit it. Uh, yeah. It's like <laughs> what uh, the Chromium Web Inspector was 15 years ago. Anywho. Um, let's, wow. Uh, let's make our way quickly now. Uh, there's a Um, Again, more form blockers. This one apparently is useful for <coughs> Federico Vitici. Um, and I will say, while I have noticed, I don't know, maybe my, I just have a good internet. Maybe that's my whole thing. Distracting websites, this about blank, like you set your own whitelist. I get that to an extent, um, but if you're having issues where you like on your mobile browser where you're getting lost, like that is something that you need, <laughs> need to address in another way. But you know, she just uh, I love this icon. Um, I, 
like, I've kind of kept up with the race to make the, um, style tweaks, ultimate, this is perfect, uh, except I think that, yeah, um, I'm sorry, the ultimate style tweak software that, that really does render any old web page in a dark mode that is actually elegant and not problematic. That's a challenge that I would never personally want to um, take on. Honestly, the websites that are too too bright to be browsed at night, I think, you know, I'm trying to wait till morning for those. It's really, okay, what I'm doing is really awful because I'm saving these icons knowing that they'll probably go defunct. Um, wow. And I should be doing it more formally. <sighs> On that note, let's... Never mind. <sighs> Block javascript like are you really having issues <laughs> i okay what i was saying earlier about ad blocking um you know all my friends are the sort of people that you know have been using an ad blocker for their entire web history and i knew what they were um <laughs> that's the most that's the most quick Icon job that's even quicker than mine. Uh, and that was just like an assumption. And they all used to make fun of me. Like, dude, why do you want to see ads? And I'm like, I don't know. Like, I, uh, especially for stuff when I'm linking to things, I kind of want to see what everybody would see, you know? I don't know. Uh, well, notably, I did not feel the need until, of course, ad tech really, really fucked up the web. Um, secret album and browser clock. What the fuck? Um, wow. It looks like, uh, block YouTube. Oh, recommendations. Why are you browsing YouTube in Safari anyway? I mean, I know the app's bad, but there's a, uh, fuck, I can't think of it right now. It's on my phone. There's a third-party YouTube browser. Anyway. That's a very long video, but, uh, I guess you might say, you know, um, it looks like the tradition of browser extensions being mostly scams, <laughs> uh, is well intact with, uh, these fucking mobile extensions. Um... And like the Christian on Twitter was like, "Yeah, we want to. We I priced it just so it'd be like an impulse buy." And I was like, "Well, it's kind of. I didn't try my one darken uh, extension. Video low. Oh, I thought. Oh, well, this is cool." This, I'm glad I gave it a chance. Also, it doesn't work. Should we do one more thing? much crap there is. What have I done? What the fuck? Where are you taking me? Okay. Okay, am I gonna have to literally gonna have to approve this on every site? Maybe.
I, yeah, again, it's a task I don't want to take on. <laughs> okay. Thank you for indulging me on browser extensions. Get overamped.